What's up everybody? My name is Moss Norman and today we're going to talk about DevOps engineering role requirements and what you need from a technical and a non-technical standpoint in order to get into DevOps engineering. Firstly, a little information about myself. Who am I to speak about DevOps engineering role requirements? Well, I've had about six years of experience in the industry and I started off in IT operations. In the last several years, I've made my transition into DevOps engineering. Having said that, keep in mind while you're watching the video that I'm speaking purely from personal experience and from what I've seen in my years in the industry. The first thing that I want to talk about is the background that is required to get into DevOps engineering. By definition, DevOps requires both experience in IT operations and experience in software development processes. So what kind of a job might someone have prior to getting into a DevOps engineering role? Well, I really see two paths into DevOps engineering. The first path is someone who has had a, at least a couple of years of experience in IT operations. And then in the other path, I see someone who is in software development, likely a full stack developer. And they've also been doing that for maybe a couple of years. I think there's domain specific knowledge and skills that you pick up in industry that are required in order to get into a DevOps engineering role. And one example of the skills that I'm referring to is communication skills. DevOps engineers need great communication skills because they have to speak to a diversified audience on a regular basis. They have to be able to speak to leadership, they have to be able to speak to uh, software developers, and they also have to speak to IT operations. And when they're speaking to each group, they have to understand the terminology that that group is going to be using when interfacing with them. Again, this is just my personal experience, but you can even look at some of the job postings for DevOps engineering roles. And a lot of the, a lot of the job postings in their uh, qualifications, they're not like uh, entry level roles. They typically require multiple years of experience and the experience that they reference is typically indicative of you being in um, in either an IT uh, operations role or something related to IT or your experience is in uh, software development. Now let's talk about technical requirements. The list that I have probably isn't all inclusive and there's probably domain specific uh, technical competencies that you would need in order to get into a certain DevOps engineering role. But I think that the list that I have is mostly inclusive of the technical competencies that you would need in order to move into a DevOps engineering role. So in order to get into DevOps engineering from a technical standpoint, you'll need familiarity or expertise in the following areas. Software build tools like Make and Gradle. Software testing tools like JUnit. Configuration management tools like Puppet and Chef. Version control and branching. So you need familiarity with a, a version control system like Git or SVN. Source code management. So you need to understand how to manage source code and that will mean that you need to be familiar with a tool like Bitbucket or GitHub. Shell and bash scripting are very important. You need to know at least one programming language. And I think a very good programming language that's often used in DevOps is Python. Python is a very popular uh, language it's easy to use and it's very uh, it's a great utility for all kinds of uh, uh, DevOps activities from monitoring to um, to just automation of certain tasks. Monitoring tools like Splunk, project management tools such as Jira and how to administrate those tools. Automation scripting and REST APIs. As a DevOps engineer you'll often be asked to integrate um, tools together. For instance you might uh, want to integrate Jenkins with Slack, or you might want to integrate uh, GitHub with Jira in order to uh, exchange data from each tool with each other, maybe create bi-directional traceability. That can be really helpful and it can optimize the software development lifecycle. Now I've just named off 11 areas of technical competencies. And this might seem like a large number of requirements, but at one point or another, I have had to use and understand each one of these technical competencies in order to do my job. Some competencies I've used more than others. Now going back to the two paths into DevOps engineering, what are the technical competencies will you have as an IT operations person and which ones are you uh, most likely lacking in if you're in an IT operations position? 
If you're in IT operations in your current role, you very likely have proficiency in configuration management tools like Chef and Puppet, and you're also probably proficient in shell and bash scripting. You've likely interacted with some monitoring tools, and I can almost guarantee that you've used JIRA or some other project management tool. Lastly, you're probably also familiar with uh, some automation scripting as well. Also, one thing that I forgot to mention that I think IT operations are uh, have familiarity and expertise in is a general knowledge around IT infrastructure, especially within your own company. You're probably familiar with how your company's infrastructure is set up and how your IT uh, processes work. Now on the flip side, someone who is currently in a software development role likely has the, uh, the technical competencies that I didn't mention for IT operations. For instance, they likely have experience with software build tools, software testing tools like JUnit. They have familiarity with version control and branching, so they have uh, plenty of experience with feature branching and Git. They have familiarity with source code management. They're definitely proficient in one programming language, and they're also very, very likely familiar with uh, REST APIs. Maybe they've developed some REST APIs in the past. So if you're in an IT operations role, in order to get into DevOps engineering, you'll likely want to work on the technical competencies that a software developer has in order to uh, be able to transition well into a DevOps engineering role. And then on the software development side, in order to get into a DevOps engineering role, you'll likely want to improve your technical competencies that I associated with an IT operations role. Remember that DevOps is the integration of software development processes with IT operations. So in order to become a DevOps engineer, you need to have knowledge from both worlds. You don't need to be an expert in everything, but you need to have uh, some fundamental understanding of those technical competencies that I listed. And again, you know, based off of your background, you're going to be more proficient in some technical competencies than others, but you do want to have uh, general familiarity with all of those technical competencies that I listed. I hope this video helped you get a better idea of what's required to become a DevOps engineer. And if you have any questions, feedback, please let me know in the comments. And uh, if you enjoyed the, the video, please consider throwing a like on the video and subscribing to the channel for uh, more videos. Thank you.